Hello everybody! This is Dream Gamer back for another episode of Primal Carnage Extinction. And yes, lots of things happened. Scientist is OP. Pyro is Pyro. Carno got nerfed. Everything's bigger. Tyrants are smaller. Humans are better. Christmas stuff came out. Lots of plushies on the backpacks. And that's about it. Oh no, yes. <laughs> nice Christmas menu. A cold fusion spino, which looks absolutely sick. Uh, let's go through the store. Uh, lots of gifts. This one is actually really good because you get three gifts for the price of one. And then you get last year's gift, which is nice. And then you got this year's gift, which I've had tons of so far. And yes, lots of new stuff, which I'm sure you've probably seen in the game. But I'm just going to go through what I got. And I got, I got an ass ton of stuff. Okay, we'll start with the humans. And yeah, lots of stuff from gifts and such, like this Snow Corpse Pathfinder. All these plushies, which look absolutely adorable. <laughs> I think the only one I'm missing is the Nova Raptor. Yeah. Um, oh, new um, reindeer antlers. Well, that's what they are. <laughs> and... Oh, yeah, new animation for humans. Well, I'll go for that in the patch notes. And, well... The Devil. Like, don't that look sick? Like, ooh, these premium skins have really stepped up since the first batch. Like... I thought the first batch were quite nice, you know, realistic looking dinosaurs. I like them ones, but this, this is just in a whole different league. I don't even need a control collar to make the eyes glow. Like, look, look, hang on, I'll put it on. Oh, actually, it does change the eye color a bit, but I prefer white. Like, I have the shackles on. And yeah, this looks sick. And if, if you don't know, this is, I think it's a, meant to be a Wendigo Nova. Kind of like the um, Pathfinder guy. So yeah, that's one thing about... I was never going to not get it. <laughs> um, also got this. This was this is in the 2020 gift. The legendary Black Ice Overraptor. Also got a um, mutation for the Overraptor. The Anzu mutation. Genetically modified using extracts from... Species... From... Um, Sainagnafid species. Resulting in large tail fan and altered skull shape. And yeah, I quite like it. Looks nice. Um, flyers, well, I got this nice skin. I like this one. The Northern Lights Terror. And we have the Red Robin Terror. Oh, oh, that's, that don't look good. <laughs> oh, that's, um, well, I don't know what that is, but that is an abomination. And then we have the legendary Shattered Ice Terror, which looks quite nice, doesn't it? Hang on a minute, does this guy have the crest? Yeah, he does. Which looks quite nice and glamorous. Oh, yeah, I also got the uh, Quetzal Mute, because I came back in the store for, for a big good deal. <laughs> okay, as for Tupa, we got the Frost Wave Tupa. Tupa, Tupa, Tupa. Yeah, his Tupa got absolutely slaughtered during this patch. But I don't matter, but <laughs> I don't matter. But it doesn't matter, so sod it. <laughs> um, yeah. Nothing new there. Okay, this one... Well, other than this guy, I actually think this is, in my opinion, the best premium skin we've got so far. I, actually, I absolutely love this thing. It goes so nicely with a control car... Co control car la. And the spitter antlers. Like, for those of you that don't know, this is meant to be a guanlong, and it looks absolutely bloody gorgeous. Okay, as for cryo, we got the blue theory cryo, which looks quite decent with a malice cryo mute. And then we got a Frost Wave Cryo. And as for Carnotaurus. Um, I think... Yeah, I think this is the Avalanche Carno. Yeah, I think... Was this the one? I think this is what the one Pesky was using before, obviously, the Oceanic Carnotaurus came out. Which is basically his skin. I, I think this is awesome. Regardless of what it represents, I just like the skin in general. And yes, there's definitely going to be a gameplay of this. Ooh, I was planning to do it before Christmas, but it didn't happen. Uh, what should we go back to? Yeah, we'll go back to Centigrade Carno. Because I, go, I, I was traded this by a good friend of mine. And I love it. But I prefer Cold Fusion Carno, so hopefully we'll get that. Um, and Serato got quite a lot of new stuff. Including this rare Blue Lagoon Serato. And one I absolutely love, the Aurora Serato. Which is what you get for opening the 2020 gift. Alright, now for the tyrants. <laughs> You'll see that guy too soon as well. 
Uh, we got another Aurora Acro. That's for opening one of the older gifts. Can't remember which one. Oh, this one. Black Eyes Acro. Uh, put Sukas Acro on. Oh, that looks awesome. I love that. And what else did we get? Yeah, not too many Acros this patch, which is a huge surprise because, well, Acro gets loads of love. But I think there's a lot of them in the drop pool, which I'll go on and explain a bit later. And then we have the Cold Fire Spino, which is the polar opposite of the Wildfire Spino. I love this. Looks awesome. And until I get a Cold Fusion skin, this is going to be my, like, fake Cold Fusion skin. And as for the Rex, oh, we, got the new, we got a new mute, the Formidus Rex mutation. Genetically modified for a more gracile, gracile body and compact skull. And I actually really like this one. It makes the Rex look more leaner and more compact. I think this looks really nice. Oh, except for that bit there. It's a bit smudged. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Is it meant to be like that? Oh, it might be meant to be like that. Oh, well. Uh, we also got a few new Rexes. We got the Icebreaker Rex, which we got from a gift. And we got... Oh, though, this, this came with a mutation, the Thunderhide Rex. Oh, yeah, this one, which I absolutely bloody love. The Sapphire Rex. Even though it looks almost identical to the Su Tsunami Rex. No, you can't even tell the difference. Tsunami Rex. Sapphire Rex. It looks awesome. And then we got this. I got this yesterday in a gift. The Abacillus Rex, which I'm not really too fussed on. So, yeah, that's all my stuff. <laughs> I like just flexing all my stuff. Right, let's have a look at the long ass patch. Okay, major netcode upgrades. All new human animation system. High, ultra high res dinosaur texture sets. Extensive reworks for several maps. In depth gameplay rebalancing and much, much more. Ah, oh, he's cute, didn't he? Ah, oh, he got an egg. Oh my god, the scientist got no bones in her. Flexible lady she is. Oh yes, new hit detection. This is basically hitboxes which have plagued this game for years and quite frankly an undesirable trait for the for the game to have like this but well kind of a thing of the past okay well you can all read that yourselves okay the systems for verifying weapon and melee hits have been completely rewritten from the gr ground up to be much more efficient cutting down the server response time and dramatically improving the feel of the game in the process in other words this means that unless you're playing on the moon if you hit somebody with a hit scan weapon, you will hit them. And that's bloody awesome. Uh, actually, I'll just read the patch notes. Ooh, lots of gifts. And yes, a new batch of centigrade stuff. Oh, that looks awful. Okay, so they updated default score and time limits for team deathmatch. Okay, they also changed the scoring methods now, so the top players will have the best K to D ratio. Which I don't care about, because I only care about kills. And well, I haven't seen this applied in game yet, but I haven't really paid attention. But apparently now killing the tyrant is worth two kills instead of one. So like a two for the price of one. Okay, we fixed the tyrant takedown bonus XP being given to people who didn't land the kill and blow. Lovely. They also added a separate assist type for healing to kill a tyrant. Oh, helping to kill a tyrant. And you get bonus XP for basically soloing a tyrant, which... Well, I'm always, I've always been against that, to be honest. You should never be able to solo a tyrant, but there we go. Oh yeah, also, another awesome thing. You have a kill streak bonus. Which is something I'm never going to get. Added revenge kill, which is awesome. And bonus XP for blinding stuff. Okay, human changes. New focus fire mechanic for tranquilizers. New third person animation system for all human characters. I haven't seen that yet. Resized all of the human characters, making them more visually distinct. Humans can now swap we weapons much faster, which is awesome because I keep flicking my mouse and it costs me deaths over and over. Slightly faster reload speed for shotgun. Wait, really? Huh. Didn't notice. Although I haven't played much Pathfinder, so there we go. Okay, players with low health are now highlighted to humans. Yeah, I've noticed that. Fixed M4 carbine damage. Wait, it was broken? Huh, okay. And yeah, it does 30 per shot, which is amazing. Increased dual pistol damage from 60 to 70, which is again amazing. Increased the sniper rifle damage from 160 to 180. Again, awful. Yeah, they didn't need to do that. They should have kept it at 160. 
but no matter. Mistakes are made. Reduced damage of assault rifle bullets from 32 to 28. A good nerf for the AR, because it does have the grenades. So it doesn't need to do too more damage than the carbine. You know, the carbine needs to have an advantage over it, doesn't it? And well, as we say, oh, it's a buff. Oh, okay. Increased damage of M4 carbine to 30. They also increased the pistol damage to 50. And reduced recoil of spaz 12. And yes, for some stupid reason, they increased the sniper rifle fire interval from 0. Point. No, wait, that's good, isn't it? Wait, no, that's a good, that's a nerf. No, that's good. <laughs> anyway, adjusted damage fall off curve for sniper rifle so that, so that it drops off more slowly over distance. Increased base dosage amount of tranquilizers. Increased the dart gun stamina drain per shot. Pardon me. To 12. Change trank rifle clip size to 9. <laughs> uh, no, it's 5. So they need to fix that. Faster trank rifle reload speed, which is good. Reduced arming time for landmines. Oh, that's not really good, because people can suicide with landmines. That's not really good. Neither is that. Increasing the blast radius, because again, means more suicides. Increased damage of landmines from 200 to 230. Okay, just a random buff to the landmines. Why not? Water now bumps rockets away instead of having them explode on impact. Okay, that's pretty good. Fixed net not doing direct hit damage, only splash damage. Yeah, I noticed now that the net gun does damage now, which seems a bit strange, but oh well. Also, when netted, small dinos now have an outline visible to the trapper who netted them. Which doesn't help me at all, because well, I mainly use stun gun, but I have to switch to net gun to do challenges, but challenges that I never got done, because I'm just slow. Anyway, made flamethrower fire jet render in front of other... Yeah, I've noticed the flamethrower is different now, so you can actually see a bit better. Reduced recoil on flamethrower. Okay. Increased chainsaw damage. That's pretty good. Updated flamethrower jet effect with new... Yeah, that's what I just mentioned. Updated weapon muzzles, flashes, and ejection effects. Added smoke trails to trank-based weapons. Yeah, I've noticed that. Um, brightened weapons crosshair textures. Tracer smoke trails are now re rep replicated to other players fixed custom arm meshes not showing for skins i have them have they huh that's another thing i just haven't noticed all these like little fixes that i have not noticed at all in this game okay trank dot hit markers no longer trigger when target is done actually on the topic of the trank i would like a louder sound effect when i get hit by a trank so i know that i've been hit because a lot of the time i don't even realize i'm getting hit and then when I do realize I get hit, is when I'm dead. So that would be nice. That would be a nice little change. Okay, increased audible radius of certain human dialogues. Okay, that's don't really care about that. Okay, now onto the dino changes. Okay, new base textures. Are, yeah, we read that. Dinos now take 30% less damage to their armored strong points compared to regular hit. Wasn't it always like that? No? Okay. Okay, added sprint camera modifier, fixed camera zooming off when ragdolling as raptors, increased air control and turn speed of all dinosaurs. Have they? Okay. Increased air turning speed and diving speed for flyers. Yeah, flyers took a huge nerf. Redu increased air acceleration rate for flyers. Resized the raptors to be taller, making them easier to headshot. Yeah, that's... Don't think they needed to do that. Resized spitters, making them larger. Again, I don't think these were needed. You know, they could, should have just kept the dinosaurs as they were and just make the and fix the hit detection because that in itself is a buff to the humans. Resized all tyrants, making them short. Okay, that's that one I don't mind too much. Moved Overaptor and Overaptor closer to maneuverability. I have noticed that. Also added the ambush XP bonus. Notice that too. Double mole damage for Overaptor while pouncing. Well, I don't really pounce too much because I feel, I feel too vulnerable. So, unless it's like one-on-one -on -one and we're quite far away from contact then i'll do it anyway raised health of cryo from 210 to 280 not enough raised health of terra from 300 to 360 that's okay raised health of nova from 300 to 360 not enough lowered health of wait what it was 350 oh okay was it always 350 anyway increased health of serato from 1200 to 1300 i bought the car no 
the Cardinal got slaughtered this patch. Like, they needed to raise his health as well to, like, 1,200 or something. Because Kano just gets hammered now. Like, you can still do good at it, but not as maybe not as good as you used to, maybe. That's what I would say. Reduce duration of Dilo split bl blind vision, okay. Reduce Tyranodon pec damage to 40. Yeah, that's quite a big nerf for Tyranodon, because instead of free shot in humans, it now takes 4. And you're not very likely to get 4 packs of... That's quite a big nerf. Reduce Cryo Acid Instant Hit Damage for up to 65. Yeah, Dino's got, like, a lot... Pretty much all the Dino's got nerfed, except for Serato. Like, these are buffs, but when you really look at the buffs the humans have got, are these buffs really enough? And honestly, maybe not. But I suppose it'll take time to get used to all these changes and such, so maybe I'll be wrong down the road, but as of now, especially seeing how many times human teams win these days... I do feel like these buffs might not be enough. Right. Yeah, the reduced primary attack damage of Kano from 47 to 40, and then they did secondary attack to 50. Like, that is really bad. Like, when that, when they say primary attack for Kano, is that the bite? Or the charge damage? Because if that's the charge damage, that's garbage. That's literal garbage. Like, I know the secondary attack is the head swing, and that's okay. Like, 50, I can live with that. Anyway, moving on. Increased health restored by killing with claws or teeth as smaller dinosaurs. Okay, that's a good buff, but maybe make it more. Like, 100%. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. 35 is fine. Added 15 plus to Kano's base health restored through bite and doing his raw ability. Okay, yeah, Kano's raw ability just needs a buff. It's just useless. Like, most of the time it's useless. And, like, it's most, and when I do use it, and when it does work, it does, it is good, but... Again, it's a case of when it works. Made it so that acro raw buff does not negate trank overdose effect. Or maybe, why don't they just keep that? That'd be a good little change. Reduce netted time length for bruisers. That's good. If you are on fire, running through interactive water will now put you out. Yeah, except for the fact they don't tell you that you have to crouch. Reduce direct hit damage of cryo to 80. Uh, that sucks. Made impact velocity consistent for knockback attacks regardless of where the pawn is. And yes, also notice that they've changed like some of the sounds for the Robo Rex, which is awesome. Hopefully they'll do it with other Robo Dinosaurs. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm not going through them. Oh yeah, they've also changed class limits, but you've pretty much seen that. And yep, that's pretty much it now, so hope you enjoyed this little update. Quite a long one, isn't it? And Mr. Stranger Gamer, signing out.